Joe Biden and I'm Jill's husband. You all think I'm kidding. That's how I'm identified. Everyone knows Jill is a Philadelphia girl. She loves this city. I do, too. But to paraphrase the poet James Joyce, I have to say this, folks, because I'm near my state. When I die, Delaware will be written on my heart. Not up, Philly. Look, I'm mildly prejudiced, but I think she made a great, great second lady, and she's going to make one heck of a first lady. In the past few weeks, I've been all across America. Pittsburgh, Iowa, South Carolina, Nevada, California, New Hampshire, and today, Philadelphia. And this campaign is just getting started. And I promise you this, no one, no one's going to work longer, no one's going to campaign harder to win your hearts, your trust, and your support than the son of Catherine Eugene Finney from Scranton, Pennsylvania. Joseph R. Biden Jr. from Delaware. So, those of you who are listening, you want to be part of this campaign, pick up your phones. Pick up your phones. Now, send a text to the word United to the number 30330. Okay? That's United. 30330. Or 303330. Or BOO. Oh, yeah, wait, wait. But you got it. It's on the back there. <laughs> so look, look, it's a logical question that people ask why we begin this journey in this place, this great city of Philadelphia. Well, there's a simple reason. There's a simple reason. Because that's, well, let, 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 let him go. That's not how we do it. Other campaigns do it this way. We don't do it this way. You will not hear me speak. I made a pledge. I mean this sincerely. I made a pledge. You will not hear me speak ill of another Democrat. Look, the reason we're here is because in a literal sense, this was the birthplace of our democracy. It was, it was here over two, th you know, the fact is, two of the most important documents, not only in our history, but the history of the world were written right here. In 1776, the Declaration of Independence, we hold these truths to be self-evident.